This meeting is being recorded. All right, what's going on, good people? I appreciate y'all for being here with me. I ain't gonna take up too much of y'all time. Just want to share some information with y'all. So for those who are in Wealth Class 5 that are coming into Block Cycle, I want to say that I appreciate the support, appreciate the engagement, and just keep up the good work, keep sharing your results. For everyone that's a beginner in Wealth Class 1, also, good job. I love the engagement. I love that everyone's working on their trading view and their uh, watch list for coin market cap. My um, people in Wealth Class 2 doing great on the tokenomics, having a better understanding of what the actual numbers mean that we're looking at. And then, I mean, just overall, I'm proud of everyone that's been participating in class. OK, so this one, we're going to be going over something new. Right. Because yesterday I was on the Algorand series space with uh, Wolf of Web 3. Folks Finance and Lofty, um, and then I ended up speaking with Sean from XBAC. So just know things are in the works, things are cooking. Uh, but XBAC basically is similar to MakerDAO over on Ethereum, but this is better. It's on the Algorand network. It's safer, faster, and cheaper. And basically, you can use your assets without all of the craziness that the market throws at you when you want to invest and get a decent return. Uh, so the website is xback.io. You can do your own research. Make sure that you check it out. Um, so and I'm not going to hold you guys up. So there's 10 vaults that you can add to. And then you basically just earn your interest. I mean, not earn your interest. You pay on whatever you borrow from the vault. So I'm just giving you something I looked at earlier. I actually went through the docs earlier to look at some things. Uh, where are we now? We're in 24. So, yeah, we need to get an update on this roadmap if we can. And I'm actually making this video so that the team can check it out, you know, because I spoke to Sean and they're actually working on a lot of great things. But let's go. Let's check out this. Let's check out the platform. You know, and I actually like what x -Back is doing. If you don't have your wallet connected, make sure that you connect the para. Connected there. All right, I'm connected. I'm connected. Oh, look at that. My voice, my voice uh, trying to pop up. <laughs> my voice, bro. Oh, hmm, interesting. Interesting. Voice testing. So I don't know. So anybody can tell me why that popped up. Let me know. I'm not sure. Okay, but it says I'm connected to the pair, right? Not that one. All right, I'm going to click on vaults first. And the last time I came here, it actually took a, a little minute to load up. So let's give it some time to load up and kill that window. Okay, so while that's loading, let's just look at this again. All right, what makes XUSD unique? Most other stable coins are typically backed by fiat currency. In contrast, XUSD is backed by various digital assets such as Bitcoin, gold, silver, gold ETH, and algo. Um, I was on there earlier, so they also have Solana, Link, and AVAX as well. How do you mint your XUSD stablecoin? XUSD is now available to be minted on the platform and aims to maintain a stable value of one US dollar backed by assets in the basket. Deploy XUSD to our partners to earn yield. Monitor your folks helped to avoid being liquidated. Don't let your vote collateral ratio get less than 110. All right, let's go. So this I don't like, and I don't know if it's my slow internet or if it's actually the platform, but it's taking a second to load. Let's refresh it. Maybe this will work. And still not there. Okay. I'm hoping it's not my internet, but last time it did this, it took quite a minute to load for me. Okay, here we go. We got action. We got action. 
All right, so these are the votes. Votes are representations of XBAC smart contracts deployed on the Algorand blockchain. These contracts allow you to mint XUSD using Algorand standard assets as collateral. Okay, and then just to keep things simple, we're going to use some Algorand. You have to use a minimum of $100. So let me make sure that I have enough algo here. Swap on Tiny Man. And actually, you know what? X back, you know, when you're watching this video, adding a swap feature here would be nice too, right? Everybody else has a swap feature. So definitely adding a swap feature would be helpful. All right. So we're going to how many tokens would you like to collateralize? Uh, 75%. How much was that? $5.99. Let's just do $5.99. How much? XUSD would you like? Let's do 75. Oh, minimum amount of XUSD to mint is $100. Oh, so 100 is the minimum to mint. Okay, so that's my minimum. Collateral ratio is 100%. Initial collateral ratio must be above 120. So that means I need to put in more I'll go then I take out. So let's try this. If I put in 600 algo, then could I borrow? Let's see. I don't see this. I don't see this. Max is 83. Okay, but does that work now? Minimum amount of XUSD to mint is $100. So what am I missing? What am I missing? To create a vote, you must mint 100 XUSD. Collateral ratio is under the 120, so that's not a good thing. The only thing that I can think here is that I need some more money. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at. I need some more money to do this. Let's go back. Let's do this. Let's put another $25 in Algo. All right, and this is my first time doing the x back vault. So you guys, we're seeing this, we're learning together. So I'm using Tiny Man to swap it out because x back doesn't have the swap feature and Tiny Man has the cheaper swap fees. So now let's try this again. We're going to require to use X back. Okay, deposit collateral, then X back. 800. Exceeded maximum deposit of. See, now I'm confused. I'm confusing myself. Okay, exceeded max deposit. So max deposit is 793. I can safely mint 100 XUSD confirmed. Anything over 120 is good. Anything over 120, anything under 110 is bad. Collateral 133, number of tokens 793, value of debt 100 XUSD. Okay, that's better. So just for clarity, I put in 793 Algorand coins. I'm going to mint 100 XUSD tokens, stable coins. My collateral ratio is a 133%. If it drops below liquidation collateral, it will be liquidated. The collateral, I put in $133.15, which equals the 793 algo. If algo drops to 14 cents, I will be liquidated. And I like this feature right here. let you know exactly how far down does algo need to go before you liquidate it, right? And algo is sitting at what, 16, 17 cents right now. So this would be my, my stop loss, my liquidation point, my support right there. And 
I like it. All right, let's go. Let's confirm the vote. And I'll definitely make another video following up with this. I just wanted to test it out, see what's actually going on with this platform. Plus, I just borrowed 100 bucks from Folks Finance to do this, so it wasn't a big deal, right? All right, let's check it out. So this 3% annual fee, the annual supply fee for minting. So you have to pay a 3% fee annually just to mint. Okay, collateral ratio 133, collateral in vault 793, liquidation price. Okay, it went to 15 cents. Oracle price 17 cent, price drop for liquidation 2 cent. View the vaults. View the vault. All right. Okay, looking at the details. Withdraw collateral back to your wallet. Deposit collateral from your wallet. Repay debt. So mint X USD. That means add risk. Take my collateral out with add risk. If I deposit collateral, that will lessen my risk. If I repay what I borrow, that would lessen my risk. Okay. And this actually works similar to folks finance, but it has a different twist. It's using a stable coin. It's operating on a DAO system soon. Uh, and it's a lot of different features. So I'll be giving more information at this. And I haven't made that many videos, but this is up my alley right here. Right? The vaults. Okay, so one more time. Liquidated. When you go to liquidate, this means you can liquidate someone else's account. If they have a Let's just do the algo vaults, but if they, and you're going to fetch the vaults. So this is how you find what vaults you're looking for. And remember, if you liquidate somebody, you get all of their assets at a discount. So this is where you will look up assets. If it's liquidated, I'm sure you would click it and you would be able to liquidate them. Look at these collateral ratios. Okay, got my name on the board now. Got us a barb there. We got a barb there. Okay, there's the shine. So basically, you're just stacking algo. And if you want to, you can borrow against the algo using your XUSD. All right. And then they also have the other assets as well gold, silver, AVAX, Solana, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, I like this though. What else? Redeem. I haven't done the redeem or dug at this yet. So I'll just make another follow up video. This was literally just me setting up my first vault and just seeing what the platform actually has to offer. One of the features that I do like most is that it is over collateralized. So you know that there's more than enough equity, more than enough liquidity inside of the protocol. It has 1.6 million in liquidity, basically locked up inside the vaults. There's uh, almost 700,000 XUSD circulating, which is Good, right? So we just got to get some more attention, more eyeballs on the what can be done with these vaults. But from my experience, I like it. I give it an 8 out of 10 right now because it's obviously, it's just, you know, it's the basics. It could be a lot more. The UI could be better. It's, you know, it's simple and easy to navigate. I, I, I like that part. Um, I don't know if it's my internet or if it's the platform that's loading a little slowly. That's another thing for me. Um, I think this vault is shutting down mode. Add new vaults cannot be open. Okay, somebody must be closing a vault, I guess. Okay, if the collateral ratio is low, you should consider returning collateral, returning collateral or debt. Okay, okay. All right, I like this. So I'm going to cut the video short. I just wanted to show you guys about x -Bat. So if you haven't seen it or heard about it, here it is. I will leave the link in the description. Um, and hopefully we get uh, some referrals and get some more votes set up, create some traction for this platform because I want to help grow the Algorand ecosystem. And I think this will be definitely one of the ways we can do it. Okay, on that note, I'm out of here.